Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm Keith Wilson. And I'm Julia Vanderkolk. Welcome to your BNN News Show. This week we'll be showing you more on Cinco de Mayo, Men's Golf, Hot Topics, The Catapult Project, The New Student Body President, and The 2017 Prom. Cinco de Mayo was last week. Here's how students at North celebrated. Last week, Spanish classes celebrated Cinco de Mayo. We talked to students to see how they celebrated the event. I'm in Senora Cheeks, Spanish 3, and for Cinco de Mayo, we all brought in food. Um, that was for extra credit, too. And I personally brought in enchiladas that I made and a lot of kids brought in homemade salsa and queso and um, one of the class favorites was the taco meat that a kid brought in and it was actually really good because it was like all original like Mexican spices and it was really good and then after we ate we played a Kahoot game about the history of Cinco de Mayo while we ate and it was really fun. For Cinco de Mayo in Mrs. Green's class we had Mexican soda, Mexican candy, chips and salsa, quesadillas. We even had a quesadilla maker that was fun to use. Uh, I enjoyed it because I got a lot to eat a lot of food. Yeah. I'm in Spanish 4 and to celebrate Cinco de Mayo, my class made tortillas, like the real kind. And then we also played a Kahoot game over the history of Cinco de Mayo where we like focused in on like when it took place and where it occurred and why it's still an important event in Mexico today. Cinco de Mayo is about um, the day in history that the Hispanic army defeated the French in um, the Puebla War and that took place in Puebla, Mexico. And uh, for the U.S. it's basically just a day for us to commemorate the war that happened and for us to celebrate by eating um, authentic Mexican food and having fun with our classmates. This is Tabitha Griffin reporting for BNN. The men's golf team recently had a match against Shelbyville and New Palestine. Here's more about it. BNN talked with Walker Thomas on who he played, how he feels about the match, and what he needs to work on to improve himself. Um, it was Shelbyville and New Palestine. We did pretty well. Um, they're not the toughest competitors, but we shot a pretty decent score. Um, I believe we had like a 150, and they shot around a 175, so we beat them pretty easily. Um, my putting and chipping is probably my biggest need to work on. Um, I think we're pretty good. I think we could definitely make a run for state here in a couple couple weeks. About a month is when sectionals start, and I think we're ranked eighth right now, so definitely can probably make a run at state this year. This is Timothy Baker reporting for BNN. Here's a look at some current pop culture. Hey Bulldogs, I'm Ben Dickerson. And I'm Tap the Griffin, and these are your hot topics for the week. This week we're going to be talking about the death of Pepe, Feather Brows, Harry Styles going on tour, and more. In early April, a makeup artist on Instagram called Style Sirenin accidentally introduced a new eyebrow trend. Instead of the dark bold eyebrows, she decided to go with something new, the feathered eyebrows. An old meme has been popping up in the news recently. Pepe the Frog is officially dead. The creator, Matt Fury, recently killed him off on his comic on Free Comic Book Day. Recently, a trend has been going with unicorn foods. But now, charcoal has become a big ingredient in face masks and our foods. Goth foods are a new trend. The food gets its dark color from the charcoal. Get your popcorn, Bulldogs. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 just hit theaters. The Guardians are back at it again for another adventure. Well, that's intense. Harry Styles recently announced that he is going on a 2017 world tour. This is his first tour since his leave of the popular boy band One Direction. Stranger Things was a Netflix original hit. Finn Wolford's star of the show is shown in the new IT trailer. Can this kid get a break from monsters? Whose sneaker is it? It's Betty Ripson's. What if she's still here? That's 
that's all we have for today, Bulldogs. I'm Tom the Griffin. And I'm Ben Dickerson. See you next week on Hot Topics. The physics classrooms just finished building catapults. Here's a look at a student's project. A few of Miss Anakin's classes did a catapult project. They could have also chosen to do a Rue Goldberg project or a video. BNN spoke to junior Isaac Jackson to learn more about his process. All right, uh, I built a catapult by partner Kirkland Kuntz. And the first thing we did was find out the design of what we wanted to do. And then we made the dimensions of it. So the size, the length, the width, what materials we would like to use. Then the next process was going and buying all those materials. And then the next process was probably the longest and I was just putting it together. And then the next thing we did was uh, we had to figure out the type of ball we wanted to use. And we decided to use a baseball because that was the easiest for us to find really. And then we uh, had to do tests. So we did eight trials for one, for one variable, which was using three bungee cords. Then we did uh, eight tests using only two bungee cords and we measured the distances for each of those recorded those and graphed them. And then when we had to present the project, she gave us uh, two distances. We had to launch the ball, pull it back to those distances and it fired properly. And that was our project. It took us all in all about three and a half hours. The longest process was probably just putting everything together, making sure everything fired smoothly and went together. And that took around an hour and a half to two hours and then just graphing and taking the test took about an hour. This is Bryson Cox reporting for BNN. Student body officer election results were recently announced. Here is more about our new student body president. The newly elected 2017-2018 student body president, Madeline Sanders, describes her plans for next year. Next year, my goals for the school and for assembly is just to have more like school spirit in general. I kind of want to bring in, like on the announcements, I want to be able to say what sports events, like um, anything going on around the school so that people know and they're aware of like what they can come to and like cheer on like their fellow students. I'm really nervous about balancing my schedule, but I mean obviously this is going to come first, but I'm just scared about what I'm going to have to like cut out of my schedule. I'll be fine though because I mean I'm kind of, I like being busy so it's okay. I couldn't be happier with what our council is. Um, each person on there definitely deserved um, to win and they're on council for a reason. They're going to do a great job. Make sure to congratulate Madeline Sanders and the rest of next year's student council if you see them in the hallway. This is Keith Wilson reporting for BNN. The 2017 BCSE prom was last weekend. Here's a look at what happened. Hey guys, it's Tabitha Griffin and Micah Shibata, and we're at the Columbus 2017 High School Prom. And we're excited to see all the classy looks. Everyone looks beautiful tonight. So, how did you guys ask your dates to prom? Actually, he did it really in a really cute way. We both work at Schmidt, and he had the, the kids actually come up to me one by one, and it spelled out, will you go to prom with me? It was awesome. That's so cute. Uh, I had uh, some of my friends after a baseball game, I had like wooden letters that I made and we all like warm around our necks and like walked out of the locker room. It's very pretty. Alright, so how did you ask her to prom? Um, I, uh, Emma Wilson helped me out, she, ha she made a sign and I held it up in, in the, um, what is it called, the ballet studio and she walked in and I was standing there with the sign and I asked her. That's so cute. And then, um, what is like your favorite dance move that you're gonna do tonight? Well, you see, I'm gonna twerk. That's what I'm gonna do. He's not gonna twerk. Yeah, He's I not allowed twerk. to twerk. I am gonna twerk. I'm gonna be the best one out there on the field. Watch out for me, guys. Just let you know. <laughs> so, where did you get your um, outfits? Uh, Doll Brothers. Beloved. <laughs> Um, how did you um, ask her to prom? Um, I made a poster and said 13 reasons why you should go to prom with me. That's very cute. So, how did you ask her to prom? Uh, it was actually at one of our track meets. I made a sign that said, uh, you make my heart beat so fast, I think it might PR. And so I gave it to her at one of our track meets earlier in the year. That's so sweet. So where did you get 
your armor? The armor pieces, for the most part, I ordered online. The elbow oh, wow. plates, I actually had a, a friend of mine with a forge made them. And the tabard, I had to make myself. Oh. All right, so what, what are you um, looking forward to the most? Uh, just hanging out with friends for the rest of the night and just going having a good time at the dance. Yeah, same. <laughs> See everyone. All right, I hope you guys have a really fun time. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. And I just wanted to uh, update you guys. They told me that apparently what I was wearing wasn't appropriate for a prom, and they insisted I go change. So unfortunately, I will not be able to get inside. Pretty. And Thanks. where did you guys go to dinner? Uh, Chef Joseph's in Indianapolis. Nice. What did you guys have? I had a grilled cheese. Uh, cheeseburger. Nice. All right. Um. So, uh, how did you ask her to prom? Well, we've been dating a while, so we kind of just. Yeah, it was last year he asked me, uh -huh. but then cause we went together last year, and so this year it was just kind of like, hey, you want to go to prom? And then he was like, yeah. And so then it was just a mutual agreement, so. And then where did you guys like do dinner? Did you guys do dinner? I did dinner with my boyfriend at Olive Garden. And me and her went to Taku for dinner. Nice. And then did you guys have like a special ride in or anything? 2017 Mustang GT. Well, I hope you guys have a great time. That's it for tonight's 2017 BCSE prom. Everyone looks so beautiful tonight, and we all had so much fun. Thanks for watching. See you next year. And that's it for today, Bulldogs. I'm Keith Wilson. And I'm Julia Vanderkolk. Have a great weekend. If you would like an announcement on the show, please email us at nhs underscore communications at bcse.k12.in.us. BNN is a proud partner of CNHS Media at Columbus North in Columbus, Indiana. All music is provided by American Music Company.